Hey guys, welcome back to Alliance Tournament 11 Day 3. We are bringing you Hungry Loaded versus Godfathers. It's a pretty interesting group of setups here. Uh, we have a what looks like a non-tinker shield setup that's got a couple Scorpion Navy issues against a very high DPS Navy Battlecruiser setup. Yep, so it's uh, Godfather's here with a lot of uh, Battlecruisers, Hurricane uh, Fleet issues, Brutix Navy issues, lots of damage with some Hounds as well, and then Hun Reloaded with all these Navy Scorps. So red here for Hun Reloaded have banned the Mollus and Carries, very common bans with a Navy Scorp team. You don't want to be get uh, damped out um, completely as we saw Footwork do. And uh, blue team is damped out Guardian Neros, trying to get rid of armor teams, possibly um, wanting to uh, make sure that there's something they could break through a little bit more quickly, something that wouldn't be too high a uh, tank. This is also, I think, probably one of the first times we haven't seen Dominix's man. You are correct. Yeah, that's uh, pretty notable. Now, one of the cool things that happened here is that uh, the entire, pretty much, uh, team for Godfathers warped into zero. Hun Reloaded warped their frigs in really close, and then warped their uh, scorpions and uh, basilisk gnosis a bit further, and the healer further back, which meant that they were trying to get those frigates into tackle right away. Those frigates are going to have the like, very fast initial tackle on all the uh, battle cruisers, keep them from moving too much. It meant they lost a harpy right away, but the rest of them are surviving actually. Yeah, a harpy for a hurricane fleet issue. It's a That's trade a that you'll good, good yeah, trade. absolutely. It, it's actually a pretty good idea. It's something akin to what we saw RVB do actually. It was a um, it was two rush setups and the RVB frigates tackled the, the rush uh, and let their large ships in the rush go straight for the logistics. It was great piloting. This is mm -hmm. kind of the same thing, but now they're starting to breed, bleed frigates at, a, at an yeah. alarming rate. It's the danger of having all your frigates at zero. Um, neither team here with a lot of E-War. Those are just tackle and damage frigates. Those aren't damping for Hunt Reloaded. Uh, Godfathers does have a bit more E-War. Um, probably uh, they got the dams on the Basilisk, and that seems to be the vast majority of it. And it's really just now, now that we've got those uh, assault frigates out of the way, whether or not these uh, battle cruisers can catch stuff fast enough. Well, and we also don't have a logistics on the side of Godfathers. Yeah. So the long game is always going to go towards Hun Reloaded as long as they can survive. We're just trying to make it be a war of attrition here. Um, but there's a lot of DPS on the Godfather side. If and they they've can got Tackle on the Basilisk. Yeah, if they can bring it to bear, then this could turn really, really quickly. Yeah. Now that they're actually up there. So we now have the Battlecruisers just now arriving on top of that Basilisk. You're going to see a ton of damage hitting them. Yeah, the frigates come and tackle them first. The Battlecruisers caught up. Another Hurricane Fleet issue down, though, and the third is moving through into armor. So he is armor tank plated, but I don't think uh, he's going to last too, too long. The, the damage isn't coming in on the Basilisk as quickly as I would think that it would. It's got a lot of shield maintenance spots on it. Um, I, you're not going to see smart bombs on any of these Battlecruisers, and we're getting towards about... 50, getting close to 50% armor on this Hurricane yeah. Fleet issue. So this actually is a tinker. We mentioned it might not be at the beginning because a lot of ships are very far away, um, but they just, I guess, weren't using the Gila for cap transfers. You yep. often would on a tinker team. They just have cap transfers coming in from the um, Navy Scorpions. Yeah, so it can come in f at 50 and drop curators and do its job mm -hmm. just fine. This Basilisk is tanking really well, and they're about yeah. to lose another Hurricane Fleet issue of Sea Luigi. I think that this is probably... <laughs> Yeah, so for it's a team that's worried a lot about tanking on their Basilisk, on that kind of tank DPS war, shooting the Hurricane Fleet issues before the Brutus Navy issues might seem a little unintuitive because the Brutus Navy does more damage, but, but selectable damage, damage types. types. Yeah, exactly. So the um, Basilisk it has huge resistances to kinetic and thermal damage, which is the only type of damage the guns on a Brutus Navy issue can do. Absolutely. While the Hurricane Fleet issue can choose whatever damage it wants, it will go for right. EM for that hole. Um, so clearing those off out of the way first is probably why the Basilisk is still alive. If they yeah. killed the Brutus Navy first, then the EMP on on those uh, Hurricane Fleet issues would have wrecked it. Or if they figure that they filled the hole, they can load up Fusion and yep. do Explosive, which should be its second lowest, I believe. Um, but yeah, so this is going pretty predictably. The Basilisk is teetering on the edge there. We're seeing a little bit of armor bleed, uh, but, but it begs the down. question, it, it doesn't matter. Um, He's going to die there, yeah. I think it's pretty safe to say like that second to last Brutix is about to die, yep. and uh, with one Brutix, two Hounds, and some Wolves versus two Navy Scorpions, Gnosis Gila, and two Merlins. I, I give it to Hun Reloaded at this point. The Gnosis has an ASP. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, it's, I mean, That's they've got a lot of mid slots. Gnosis is a very generic type of ship. It can fit almost anything. It has wow. bonuses to all kinds of weapons. There you go, that Brutix Navy drops. The and Gnosis is taking huge amounts of damage, though. Yeah, I got, well, he's got two, ha well, he did have two Hounds. The Hounds are now dead, uh, killed very quickly. Um, but uh, the... Um, Brutus Navy as well doing damage to him. You see, actually, the damage decreased a lot when those hounds died. Yeah, and now well, I would imagine they're getting 400 to 500 out of each hound, mm -hmm. so it's uh, definitely not insignificant. The wolves, 
on on the Godfather's team aren't going to do that much. They're probably just a sturdy uh, tackle platform is all they're there for. There and the Gnosis. The, if the, hopefully the Merlins have a web. If not, there's still at least a target painter to augment those Navy Scorpions if they're trying to take down the Wolves. Yeah, so they do have a target painter. There's no webs being applied right now. But, uh, yeah, I'll expect once the Merlins get in close, you'll see some webs uh, dropping there. And with that Brutus Navy issue gone, that's going to be virtually all the damage yes. gone for Godfathers. You can see their attack bar is absolutely tiny now, um, just the Wolves. And uh, it's just a matter of time now. It looks like one of the Wolves is trying to solo PvP Tusk Hopkins in his Merlin right now, though. Yeah, that's and doing quite well. It's a good uh, good matchup there for him. Wolf versus Merlin. I'm definitely going to give it to the Wolf. And yep. yeah, there it goes to Merlin. So now it's really just a matter of time. Those Wolves um, may even be able to survive the match if they evade for the next four, five minutes, but they're not going to win this. So yeah, they, they can't they Their can't best bet, I think, is to try yeah. to honor kill. Maybe they can take the Gila. They really, really went in for it. <laughs> Overheat? I guess it depends on its fit. Well, yeah, and they, the, the important thing is they do have the target painter. Uh, the wolves are going to be so hard to kill because we're talking about, uh, I believe, a cruise missile. I, I'm not sure after the changes, but it should be about 400 explosion radius plus explosion velocity on a micro warp drive bonus to SIG radius assault for you. Yeah. So the damage application is pretty shady there, but the target painter is going to help you a lot. Yep, so the last Merlin there for Hun Reloaded is dropping, but so is one of the wolves. And again, like we said, it's just actually a matter of time now. Uh, there's no way that those wolves for Godfathers are going to score the, what is it, 38 points that they need to uh, to win. They're not going to break the tank on Navy Scorpion. Yeah, they need uh, both of the Navy Scorpions to yep. make up for those points. So these two teams, part of the reason we were so excited about them. Um, Hun Reloaded, of course, a lot of you know, came in second place in the uh, last Alliance Tournament, Alliance Tournament 10. Um, they're a team with a lot of tournament pedigree. They won the fourth Alliance Tournament. They were the first team other than Band of Brothers to win a uh, Alliance Tournament. And uh, came back then again to win, to do like, quite well, but never right to the top again in the years in between, and then to second place last year. Godfathers, a team that has had a lot of tournament experience as well, Absolutely. never really come to the very top. But what they did do is what they submitted a team that uh, came in first in the uh, New Eden Open, yeah, which is our cash prize team, team tournament. Yep. Yeah. Well, they did try to go in and brawl the Gila down mm -hmm. like men. Yes, they that are is the honorable <laughs> path. Yes. Give us some actual action and not try to draw out the match unnecessarily. They're yep. going to do the best damage they can and then die with honor. And it looks like he has two, you know, it looks like each of those Scorpion Navy issues have a, a, painter, uh, yeah. a target painter. So, I mean, I would imagine his SIG is somewhere in the 100 range. So that's not bad. You're doing halfway decent damage application there. Yep, obviously they're doing enough damage to uh, slowly wear him down, and it's just actually now a matter of time. So we're getting a lot of good fights in local from yep. the competitors on both sides. These guys are people that a lot of them know each other um, and have uh, fought against each other before, and that is going to be the match. So Hun Reloaded, one of those teams that we didn't expect to get knocked into the loser's bracket at all this no. early, but they're going to be t making a tear through it, I'm sure. You don't want to be going up against them, and uh, they're going to be continuing their path through the elimination bracket. Godfathers, yep. going to be out. They were able to do it without showing anything yep. too super unique as well. So our next match will be our last one before the break, and that's going to be Angeli Mortis versus End of Life. Um, that'll be in a couple of minutes. And in the meantime, we'll send you back to Soundwave and the guys in the studio.